Oh! <laughs> Welcome to my very own first episode of Kaylee and her sanity slipping away because of quarantine. Episode 1. I am gonna dye my hair blue because I have nothing better to do and I also am obsessed with TikTok. I am gonna turn myself into an e-girl. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I have the quality to be an e-girl, but we'll see how it goes. semi-permanent hair dye. By the way, if I'm lazy, I want to dye my hair while I do a hair mask. Two-in-one type of issue. Um, I'm going to scoop some. Mix it together. And just start doing it. After an hour and a half of um, constant struggling, I finally put everything on I wore like a shower cap to keep everything together. Um, it recommended me to do I don't know how long, so I'm just gonna do an hour. So I'll see you guys back in an hour. So hello, uh, as you can see, it didn't fucking die. <laughs> Nothing is on here. Well, my, my hair feels really, really soft right now. It's an absolute fail. So don't, don't take suggestions from me, but um, it is currently 9 p.m. at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it because why not? 5 a.m. is like the new 12 a.m. in quarantine. Who's gonna tell me what? No one. Hello. So it's currently the next day. <laughs> but I'm not gonna give up. I'm still gonna do the transformation. I have a wig. I'm just gonna put it on. But for now, I'm gonna, you know, do my makeup and see how it goes. Since I already have my basic skincare and sunscreen on, I am just starting off with concealer. First off, I am just covering all my imperfection and blemishes. Afterward, I'm using a beauty blender to just blend everything out. Taking out my eyebrow pencil, I like to use the ends of the eyebrow brush area to just fluff out my eyebrow first before I fill in the gap with the pencil. Using an eyebrow gel, I like to go over my eyebrows once more to set everything in place. Moving on to contouring, I like to use a light beige color all over my eyelids and all around my nose to give myself a sharper, more defined feature. Using a blush from NARS, I'm putting it all over my eyelids and just a little bit on my nose. Using my favorite 3CE palette, I'm using a darker red shade to add some depth to my eyes. Because I cannot draw eyeliner to save my life. In 3, 2, 1, here are some uneven eyeliner for the day. Next up, I'm using a gold shimmery eyeshadow to put in the middle of my eyelids and the corner of my eyes to give it an extra pop. Using a light peach color from Innisfree, I am just putting it all over my cheek and all over my nose as a base color. Using the same shade from NARS, I am packing more colors on my cheeks. Taking out my concealer, I'm drawing these little hearts on my cheeks and then later on fixing up the edges with some q-tip. I realized I didn't have enough blush on so I'm just packing a bit more color on before I draw the other heart. Using a Toots House Play Stick 101, I'm using the highlighting end to highlight the bridge of my nose, my forehead cubist bow, and adding some in in my little heart. To challenge myself for this look, I've decided to use some falsies, and before I do, I'm gonna curl my lashes. 
putting some eyelash glue on the lashes. Now I'm just hoping and praying that I get this right because I am no expert with lashes. God have probably heard my prayers. I actually got this right on the first try. Wow. Don't forget to curl your lashes together with your falsies so they stay seamlessly together. Using my favorite mascara from Heroin, I am layering on a thin coat on the top and bottom of my lashes. Taking out my eyeliner again, I am drawing these little black dots under my eyes to emphasize what a clown I am. Using the same gold shimmery eyeshadow, I'm just putting it on the tip of my nose and my eyelids again to emphasize the highlights. Moving on to my favorite part, the lips. So I forgot to film this part, so here it is. I already put on the color, but I'm just going to do it again. Using a dark velvet color, I like to put it in the middle of my lips to give it a gradient type of look. And then afterward, I like to use a lighter color to overdraw my lips. Using a new color from NYX London, I like to put it um, on the outer edge of my lips and emphasize my cupid's bow. It just adds on the gradient. I don't know. I just like the look. That's just how I do my lips normally. Afterwards, I like to take a brown eyeshadow and just um, extend the corner of my lips so it looks like I'm always like smiling. <laughs> Using the same gold shimmery eyeshadow again, I'm just putting some on the cubis bow of my lip. It was then when I realized, damn, my forehead is so fucking bright, it's brighter than my future, and in order to tone it down, I used some compact powder and dabbed it all over my t-zone, my forehead, to control that oil. Adding a little bit more spice to this look, I've decided to put on some circle lenses from Harper Christine, plays Christine Green. I always struggle with putting on contacts after my makeup because I always forget about it. Here's the final look. I do really enjoyed it and I'm going to put on a wig in 3, 2, 1. Hello! Welcome to a new scenery and also my final look. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like it's actually pretty cute I'm not gonna lie i'm pretty i'm pretty content with myself because believe it or not i winged this whole makeup tutorial here's a few seconds of me being narcissistic uh enjoy <laughs> mm, am i kawaii yet oh damn <laughs> throwback to kaylee in 2018 with my pink hair i missed it but yeah i think i need to invest some money in actual good quality wigs because this is quite butchered but it will do the job for now. I like totally decked it out, as you can see. I don't know. I kind of like this like goth but cute type of vibe. So let me know what you guys think. I might do a second video depending on how lazy I am. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, <laughs> I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you at all. I don't know who will see this, but um, see ya. Bye. <laughs>